There are two types of electric current. The first type is as shown in the diagram here. This is called conventional current. Conventional current flows from the positive terminal of the electric cell as shown by the blue arrows to the negative terminal. This is the direction of the conventional current. And what is flowing? What is flowing is not electron. What is flowing is positive charge. A positive charge is something that is opposite in nature to the negative charge that an electron carries. The second type of current is called electron flow. As seen in this diagram here, Electron flow is from the negative terminal following the red arrows to the positive terminal of the electric cell. And as the name suggests, what is flowing is electron. Now, you may ask, why are there two types of current? Isn't there supposed to be just one? Well, the truth is, what is truly happening is the electron flow. That is what is really happening in electric circuit. But a long time ago, people thought that what was flowing in a circuit was positive charge. They thought what was happening was the conventional current and they did a lot of work based on that until one day they discovered that the truth is the electron flow. So what they decided was to keep the conventional current while bearing in mind that what is really happening is the electron flow. So in the exam or test that you will be having. Whenever you are asked to draw the electric current, you must draw the conventional current, even though it is actually not why it's happening. It is more of something that comes from history. An electric current is something that can be measured. It is called physical quantity. If it is something that it can be measured, there must be a unit for it. The SI unit for the electric current is called the ampere. The symbol is a capital A. Electric current is measured using an ammeter. The symbol for this instrument is a circle containing a capital A with two wires at each at the sides. How do you connect an ammeter in a circuit? If you want to measure the current flowing from an electric cell, then, like in this diagram, the ammeter has to be connected in series with the electric cell. What does it mean for them to be connected in series? If you look at the flow from the positive terminal to the ammeter and through the ammeter, there is only one path for the current to flow. This is what we mean when we say that the electric cell is connected in series with the emitter. Now, if you get a chance to look at the emitter, you will discover that there is a positive terminal and there is a negative terminal. There are two terminals on the emitter. So how do you connect the emitter? All you need to do is this. As seen in the diagram, you connect the positive terminal of the emitter to the positive terminal of the electric cell. You connect the negative terminal of the emitter to the negative terminal of the electric cell. This is how you're supposed to connect an emitter. And this arrangement will allow you to measure the current that flows out from the electric cell.